In today's video, we find out whose luck is better, mine or yours. What's up guys, we're back with another video where we find out if I have better luck than you guys. So I was sent this Majestic Star Dragon 10 by a viewer of the channel. He also has a note here. So we're just going to start off with that before we talk about the video. Hey, Ruxin, I've been watching your channel for almost a year now. Love the videos, man. My favorite was when you opened the 2009 5Ds 10 and opened and got the ultimate rare Majestic Star Dragon. That was recently. You can go check that video out if you guys missed that one. I'm a big Yusei fan, even dressed up as him once. Your luck has been insane when it comes to pulling cards. Hope you can get me that ghost rare or that expensive secret rare. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay safe. P.S. The card's the top loader for the giveaway. Here, hope the promo is in good condition to grade. From Junior Lopez, aka Ryder399. You heard what he mentioned. He said, my luck has been insane. But that's what I'm opening for other people. So, I decided to not only open Junior's Majestic Star 10, but to bring in a Majestic Star Dragon 10 of my own. I've had great luck for opening for viewers, and I've had some good luck on my own as well, but it feels like when I open for viewers, it's just a lot better. So we're going to pit these two exact same tins against one another and find out where my luck is the best. But before that, we have Junior's giveaway. He sent us a top loader of cards. Let's see what they are. So we have a Gold Secret Rare Blackwing Armor Master. It's actually a pretty nice card right now. And then we have a Trivi Karma. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway, win these two cards, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments where my luck is better. Open for viewers or opening for myself. Yo, I'm back. But Ruxin, where are you back from? If you guys don't know, I streamed on Whatnot back in 2021 and I've made my return to Whatnot. If you guys don't know what Whatnot is, Whatnot is a streaming platform where you can sell stuff live. And if you're a viewer on Whatnot, you can show up to the live stream, watch the stuff get open, watch stuff get sold. It's really fun to see the auction prices and people going back and forth trying to get different stuff. And you might think, I don't really want to spend any money right now. Well, that's where I come in. Use my link down below and you'll get $15 for free when you sign up for whatnot. It doesn't have to be on my stream. It could be on Team Samurai stream. It could be on Simply Unlucky stream. It can be completely unrelated to Yu-Gi-Oh because this isn't just a TCG platform. There's also a lot of other cool stuff like shoes and other collectibles like that that are being sold on whatnot. And I will be streaming live Thursday, March 30th at 5 p.m. Central. We'll be selling stuff like epic Yu-Gi-Oh singles and old school Yu-Gi-Oh packs. And I will be giving away over $500 worth of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this stream. So you guys want to make sure you're there. And some of these giveaways will not require a purchase at all. You can simply be viewing the stream and win. And don't forget to use that link down below to get that $15 off when you come to the stream so you can save yourself some money. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right, we are going to start off with Junior's 10 and see what I can pull for him. Can we pull that Majestic Star Dragon again or the Ghost Rare? I've pulled Ghost Rares for multiple different people. Uh, also, I've pulled many for myself. So maybe today's the day we pulled Majestic Star Dragon. I don't think I've ever pulled that one in terms of the Ghost Rare. We pulled obviously the Ultimate Rare he mentioned and that was what it was a pretty amazing pull. Oh, and then we've got our promo, which I forgot they don't actually put these in anything in 2009 i thought by that point they'd figured it out but ooh, it looks pretty good there's a print line right across the middle unfortunately but the rest of it honestly pretty nice whoa whoa talk about secret rare that is beautiful right there okay a little bit warped as well so i mean it's like psa 9 condition i mean you flatten this thing out it's definitely a 9 at least and then for the rest of the packs which are pretty amazing because we have first edition stardust overdrive because of, you know it's just how they did it in some of the packs we had ancient prophecy raging battle and crimson crisis so this is gonna be a pretty crazy opening we could pull some huge cards out of here all right let's start off with crimson crisis we'll save those first editions for the end because those are absolutely insane can we have some crazy luck look at some point someone's gonna open a tin and every pack's gonna have a ghost rare in it it might never happen but if it did i mean it would be the craziest thing ever we have an assault slash let's see what we can get junior b-list soldier assault teleport metaphysical regeneration vernon sanctuary the morphtronic borden a ivy shackles and we have a psychic tuning and Psychic Sword. Okay, no foil. I think it's after the rare. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's after the rare. Let's do Raging Battle next. Power Tool Dragon. We'll take an Unlimited. We wouldn't mind an Unlimited Ghost Rare at all. Let's make it happen. One, two, three. We have a Natural Tune. Very nice. Double Tool CD. Oh, Ruxin Special there. Mermaid Archer. Of course, Ruxin Special. It's got to happen. Vixian Seed. Gadget Arms. The Arms of the Gadget. Rose Tentacles. Ooh. Oh, wait, whoa, okay, it is in front of the rare. That's an ultra rare. Then there's an Ojama Blue. Okay, it's an ultra rare Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. I remember this was like 
expensive randomly. I think people were actually using it. What does it actually do? Level six or higher special summon monster on the field cannot declare an attack. Interesting. So it was being teched in recently in decks, like a few months ago. So I don't know if it's still worth something, but ultra rare. That's a very nice pull. Already a good start for junior. Ojama blue is also a cool rare. And then the Morphtronic repair unit. All right, not a bad pull. An ultra rare out of one of these packs is not guaranteed. Not even supers are guaranteed. So we're talking a pretty high end pull right there. Ancient Prophecy, can we pull that Ancient Fairy Dragon? We've searched for this many, many times. Yeah, we did eventually pull it. We have the Hydro Pressure Cannon, Flame Veil Counter. Oh, wait, that means I need to do, so this is the fourth, fifth, and it's gonna be there is what we need to do. We need a little bit of that. Let's see if that works. Flame Veil Counter, we have the Core Blaster for those workouts, Spirit Burner, a Depth Amulet, Genetic Woman, we have a XX Saber Fulham Knight, and a Advanced Draw. So we will not know if that pack trick actually worked until we build a foil. Also, you gotta remember a lot of these packs did differently as well. So we have Stardust Overdrive first edition. Let's just before we just check it out. Check out the artwork before we open it. It's a pretty big pack. There's some amazing, potentially good cards in here. One, two, three, four. Wait, so four is the the where I thought it would be, but it's the I'm just gonna do this. That maybe. I don't know. We'll try. Oh wait. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I probably messed it up. Slip summon. Let's go. We got the dark spider. The spider web for all those spider cards. Toon Magician. We have a spider spider. So many spiders in this set. Ritual of Grace. We have a zero gardener. I put the rare here. Okay. Reptilian Scylla and... Reptilian Medusa. Yeah, I don't know what kind of pack trick I did, but it definitely was not right that time. Final pack for June. We have pulled an ultra rare, which is not bad. It's also a pretty clean promo. Not bad at all. We have not pulled anything like, you know, I pulled a ghost rare yet, but you know, could be pretty cool. So I think this is what it is. So this is going to go here. And then this is going to go here. Let's be careful because there's a ghost right there. We have a Woodland Archer. Can you imagine? Dark Spider, Gemini Spark, Solitaire Magician, the Regulus, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, Attack Pheromones, the Dark Rabbit from Pegasus. And we have a... Ooh, a Quacky Mirror Beetle. So that is a super rare. So two foils out of five packs. Actually pretty solid luck. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Quaggy Mirror Beetle is very valuable, but hey, that's two pulls. That's probably going to be better than what I get, but we'll find out right now. All right, on to my tin. Will my tin pull something amazing? Two advanced packs and one pack of sleep. Advanced pack? What does that mean? Okay, yeah, those are at the bottom of the uh, thing, the, the pack of sleeves at the bottom of the tin, but they're pretty bad sleeves. Yeah, mine, you could tell, had a little hole in it because there's a bunch of junk in the, inside the plastic wrap. So uh, let's see if that means that there's, you know, something great inside. Maybe that means that it doesn't mean that it doesn't, but let's find out. All right. So, oh my gosh, my, uh, my promo has been slung about a little bit. Star or not Starlight Secret. Oh yeah, we definitely got some, ooh, that kind of look, whoa, that, this card looks amazing. I never realized how good it looked, but the top edge is definitely a little messed up. Uh, back looks pretty clean though. A little bit of print line going on there, but still a nice card. I'll take it. Then we have our promos. Okay. Yeah. So inside is like all this extra stuff, but yeah, nothing too crazy there. All right. We have the same exact packs, two first edition Stardust Overdrive and the other four packs as well. Let's see what we can pull against Junior. I mean, he didn't ask for this battle, but is what he will be receiving. One, two, three. I'm going to try my crazy pack trick. That would be the rare. I think it's this in theory something like this we're gonna do like that a little bit of craziness all right we have a mysterious triangle let's see if i can pull something amazing is my luck better or is it better when i open for other people we'll find out assault mercenary the vengeful servant morphtronic mix up the alien ammonite and we have morphtronic slingin so nothing too crazy there okay raging battle so far i'm definitely losing to juniors 10 let's see what we can get this time raging battle a ghost rare Power Tool Dragon, one, two, three. And then we're gonna go like this. We're gonna do a little bit of that and a little bit of this. Let's see if that gives us a ghost rare. Urgent Synthesis, nice. The Quacky Miro Doom. He's playing little video games. Alien Doge, Wicked Rebirth, the Morphtronic Vidion. Quacky Miro Guardian, Lava Dragon. We have the Quacky Miro Ice. And finally, will it be a ghost rare? Ultimate rare or ultra rare Power Tool Dragon? Let's find out. No, but it will be a Blackwing Shura, the Blue Flame. That's actually a really strong, just common card. But yeah, that's a nice card for Edison and those Blackwing decks is just a really good card. Okay, three packs left. Ancient Prophecy. Here we go. So I have not pulled a foil yet. That Shura was pretty nice, but not pulled a foil yet. Let's go. One, two, three. We got to do a little loop-de-loop -loop and pull for uh, SpongeBob. Let's do that. We have a Blackwing Mistral, the Silver Shield, the Release Restraint Wave. Fairy Wind, can we beat Junior? So far, we, he has two foils, we have zero. So let's see what we can do. Shark Cruiser, add one with the Sword. Ancient Crimson Ape, the Pixie Ring, Ring of the Pixie. The Fortune Lady Fire. Some of these are actually worth something. I don't think it's fire, but we can check, obviously. And finally, 
Ooh, an X Saber Fall Troll. So we do have a super rare. I've officially pulled a foil out of my 10. We're catching up. We just need an ultra rare now. Not a bad pull. And now we have the two biggest packs left. Stardust Overdrive, first edition. Will I pull the Ghost Rare? Let's go. Majestic Star Dragon. Here we go. One, two, three. So what I'm going to do is do that. And then I'm going to do this just so I'm careful with the cards in case there is a Ghost Rare in here. We have a Regulus. Very nice. We have a Quick Draw Synchro. A nice card for Edison as well. Not that it's a very good deck anymore, but still cool. Roar of the Earthbound. We have Reptilian Spawn. The Sea Panther. Limit Impulse. We have Time Passage. A Dijin, Presider of Rituals. And finally, our final card of this pack. Will it be a Ghost Rare? No, it will be a Reptilian Asylo. One of the really the weirdest cards I've ever seen now that I'm looking at it. Kind of weird. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that card. So we're just going to move on to the final pack. This is a Stardust Overdrive first edition pack. Let's see what we can pull. Will it be epic? Will it be awesome? I'm hoping that it will be. Ghost Rare, Majestic Star Dragon. One, two, three. And then we have, wait, it's this. Yeah, we can do this because we know it's in the front. Reptilian Medusa, Ocheleon. We have a Insect Neglect. Dime Passage with the Dime Wizard. We have Spider Spider Web. Relinquished Spider. It's a spider mixed with Relinquished, very nice. The Eater of Levels. Okay. Earthbound Revival. Here's the final card of my 10. This determines if I have better pulls for myself or others. Right now, others is winning. Junior is winning this one. Whew, ghost Rare. A Spider Egg. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We officially have worse luck when I open for myself. Junior, congrats on your two pulls. One being an Ultra Rare. That was pretty awesome. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.